Who else loves finding bargains at a flea market? Hi everyone, it's Tammy. Welcome back to Italy. Thanks for joining me. We are at a vintage and flea market today where all the bargains can be found. Let's take a look around. Look at this phone, come on, that's amazing. And these glasses, we're ready to have a cocktail. It's the middle of winter, so this market is not a giant one, but I bet when we come back in spring or summer, it will be giant. This is my first time at this market, and you never know what you're likely to find at a flea market. There are lots of vintage finds and collectibles today. Like this thing, to hold your swords. Where would you ever find this <laughs> if you were looking for one? There are lots of brass items today, brass, copper, lots of metal in general. In Some in good shape, some not, but if you're into brass and metal, they're here. I even found a crank pepper mill that I've been looking for, but I didn't get this one. It has really interesting carvings though. And this nesting set of tables, very unique and red. These clocks over here, I suspect they're from a train, not sure, or more than one train. If anyone knows, let me know. Very sweet little ceramics today. And although nothing's priced, obviously, because it's a flea market, I didn't hear anyone quoted a price that was above 20 for anything and a lot of three euros, five euros, two euros in that price range. So many, many, many good bargains to be had. I miss this candelabra. Lots of vases. Lots of figurines today. Very few paintings at this market today. I bet we'll see more in springtime. This sweet little brass candle holder, he quoted me three euros for. Adorable. I haven't seen one like that before. It's very practical, it holds all the wax that drips down. Oh, this brass bird vase. I didn't even see it till I was editing this video. And now I want it, of course. I was so focused on these candlesticks. This first one was actually a lamp. It had a black metal lamp fixture on it, and this was a candlestick. More metal items, copper. Cute ceramics everywhere. For the beginning of January, this was a pretty busy flea market, I must say. Also, it was the only one that I could find that was open the beginning of January. Lots of things are closed for the winter. They also had good glassware. Lots of detailing on it. Pretty dishes there with all the interesting colors. Blue, blue dinner wear is always good in my book. Very sweet little cups. A candle holder was also cute, the ceramic one. Pottery, the ceramic set, very cute. She quoted me 20 for that whole set with the platter 
six cups and a sugar bowl with a lid. That's a pretty good deal and very pretty colors too. Notice the four cute little egg cups over there. Oh, these lamps. Yes, I am looking for lamps. These were 10 each. They were a little small for what I needed, but there were lots of books all in Italian, including kids' books. Papari. Papari is Donald Duck and Topolino is Mickey Mouse in Italian. It was so cute to see those. Here we are back at these, this cute jar for five years and the egg cups next to it. This oil and vinegar set was so cute, but the oil was missing its little wooden top. That was disappointing. They were very sweet. Records. There are plenty of records today, mostly 45s. Surprised to see that. Like these, look how cute they are. The little guy with the red hair. There were lots of coats. Of course, it is winter. Lots of coats, puffer jackets, fur coats. Not so much furniture here today. Very few items of furniture. Probably no one wanted to carry them in the cold, I suspect. Oh, more candelabras that I never saw. I see the tall ones there in metal. Never saw those. There's too many good things to look at. Little lamps. They were cute and tiny. Needed new shades, but very cute. This was a really big table full of textiles. I was surprised to see it. I suspect mostly tablecloths, dishcloths, a few aprons, but not so many, but all, all different. Usually what you see in the antique stores are white ones. You don't normally see the colored ones. So I was surprised to see those. <laughs> and this looked like it was sheets, possibly for a baby with the little ducky on it. All the textiles seem to be in very good condition, well taken care of. Some Pyrex. As always, cappuccino cups here in Italy. You will always find them. <laughs> this was sweet. I seriously considered this. These little vases on the left with the flowers on them these are to fill with water and hang on your radiator, which everyone has, to add humidity to your room in the winter. Normally in stores you see them and they're just plain ceramic or plastic. There were some ties today in a couple different tables. Oh, this piece of furniture that you see coming up, one of the few pieces with details on it. And on top, you see two carafes, I guess, or coffee pots. The one on the left is a chicken. Look at it. I missed it. <laughs> I meant to come back and ask a price on that and I forgot. Some nice 
dish towels hanging in the back there with that interesting light on top of the chairs. Some old vintage tins with really cool, um, really cool designs on them and these old magazines, always fun to look at. And more tins, so interesting. And record players, always a good collectible. You see a typewriter peeking back there, the Olivetti. There were a few good typewriters today. Oh, the toys. The toys were very good today, especially Legos. Um, there were good Lego sets and um, little Lego figurines and interesting ones as well. The Star Wars Lego, all of these little people <laughs> in Lego. If you collect Legos, there were there were quite a few. And the little hot air balloon and a catamaran. I've never seen Legos like that before. Also a good selection of um, little collectible cars. and gelato toys, <laughs> making gelato. Look, another typewriter, yep. Also an Olivetti, but there were other brands, I think. And a sled, the sled looked really new. Some fashion, vintage fashion here, ties, glasses, more coats, so many coats. Lots of dishware and ceramics. This cute little pitcher here had so much detail. This guy just paid two euro for that little vase. I remember hearing him. This little pitcher on the right, cute. Very unusual little square um, cappuccino cups or espresso cups. And these glasses, they had a really nice weight to them. The bottoms were solid. Those were very cute. And another ice bucket. There were at least two I could have had and I didn't get any. More coats. If you needed a coat today, this was the place to find it at the flea market. Oh, and a, an entire mineral collection. Look at them all, even the microscope that went with them. This was a full collection. There were lots of these carved little flower collectibles here, the ceramic ones. I was surprised that I didn't see very many nativity sets. I saw one or two and that's it and they were small. Normally you see a lot more of that. Like at the antique market we saw huge collections. This little teapot and teacups were very sweet. Yep, you are seeing cassette tapes. That is true. And these, I didn't see these wall lamps either. I think I need to take video just to go back and see what I missed every time. These were sweet little pictures of flowers and the little swan behind them too. Very cute. And nunchucks. I saw nunchucks 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I never noticed that there were nunchucks there.
more teapots so much stuff just everything on the tables and rugs and yes more coats there were some interesting platters here today including an egg platter if you're a deviled egg kind of person like I am yep that was a very unique one green good for springtime luggage this scale so cute for a vintage kitchen it was adorable oh here is a, a flyer for another flea market more ties scarves just everything. You needed a lot of time to go through things. And blankets. I really considered these blankets, but I couldn't find any label or anything on them to see what they're made of. They felt like wool, but you never know. And what did I buy at the flea market? Just this little guy. So cute. Five euros. I bought him specifically because my orchid needs a little pot with lots of holes for ventilation. So I'm going to do that now. Here we are. Just gave her some water all over the bottom and I put a little bit of medium in the pot and that's it <laughs> and I'll probably keep this right next to her so so I don't lose the set even though I don't need it for this because there's a plant in it I'll probably keep it nearby just so it's cute She's happy now. Thanks for watching.